In 2014, 80 million opioid pills were prescribed to more than 350,000 Mainers. That's enough pills to give every single man, woman, and child in the state a 60-day supply. Last year, overdoses killed 272 Mainers. Attorney General Janet Mills blames prescription drugs for 40 percent of those deaths. And then sometimes I wonder, well, if we had an epidemic, if we had an outbreak of some strange disease and 272 citizens in Maine died in one year of this strange disease, would we be standing here shaking our heads and wondering, or would we be out in the streets demonstrating with flags waving? Governor LePage's bill has five parts. It would require prescribers to check a state database known as the PMP or Prescription Monitoring Program before they prescribe opioids to patients. The bill would cap both the daily limits and lengths of those opioid prescriptions. It would also require electronic prescriptions and periodic prescriber training. Dr. Christopher Pizzullo is the chief health officer at the State Department of Health and Human Services. It's about educating and empowering patients through informed consent and decision making and accountability in prescribing with appropriate follow up. Pizzullo addressed one of the concerns some people have about targeting opioid prescriptions. But what about the common wisdom that nothing works as well as opioids for pain? Surprisingly, head-to-head -head studies show that a combination of low-dose Tylenol and ibuprofen can work better and with far fewer side effects than opioids for acute pain. Maine isn't alone in this fight. Similar efforts have happened recently in Massachusetts and in Vermont. And just yesterday, the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released a new list of opiate prescribing guidelines. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.